affirmations for all your stress, all your worries, all of your anxiety. We're going to eliminate all of that. First off, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support you guys have been showing on the videos as of recent. I really, really, really appreciate it. So my gratitude and thanks to you guys. And if you enjoy the content, make sure to please hit that like button and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. First off, I just want to start off by allowing you to close your eyes and relax. So just close your eyes and relax and I'm going to take you to a scene. I'm going to put you in a thought process. So close your eyes. Let's take a deep breath in and out. One more time. Let's take a deep breath in. Hold it and out. Now that your eyes are closed, maybe you're sitting in a chair. You have comfy armrests. Your feet are up. You're in a chair with a fabric. You can feel it on your arms. It's very relaxing and maybe you even have a pillow behind you. Or maybe you're laying down in your bed. You have maybe a sheet or a cover over you. You, you feel the pillow at the back of your head and your head perfectly fits in that pillow and you just feel completely relaxed. Maybe you're in another situation. You're sitting in a chair. Maybe you're at work. Anything else, it doesn't matter where you are. But allow yourself to close your eyes for a second and be transported to this location. Now that your eyes are closed, you are on a beach. It is the perfect temperature. It is your favorite temperature. There's even a slight breeze going in your face and it feels perfect. The sun is shining on you. It's not too hot. It's just the right temperature to keep you warm. You're the only person on this beach, but it is a clear, sunny, sunny skies. Maybe there's a cloud or two there to get the occasional drift over the sun. As you're walking down this beach, the sand is the perfect temperature, and you walk on it, it feels just right. You're also walking right on the shoreline of this beach. Uh, you can see and picture these waves just slowly crashing by your feet because the ocean is perfectly calm today. You look at down, you see the seashells, you see a sand dollar, you even pick it up because it is perfect and you rarely see sand dollars. You are completely relaxed and completely calm. You keep walking down and you see a bridge. You take a sit there and relax and drink a fresh water which you've been carrying along. Hopefully this little mindset has allowed you to forget about everything that's going on right now and that everything right now is okay and you are okay. I feel like at points when you feel extremely stressed or extremely worried, you just need to take the time, close your eyes and picture yourself and allow yourself to just be in a place of calm. For me, that beach scene is my scene. Maybe you have a different scene that more suits you. But allow yourself to have these little moments where you can pull out, calm down, and then come back in and refocus. Everything is going to be okay, and you're okay right now. No matter what situation you're in, no matter where you are right now, think of it physically. You are okay right now. You clicked on the Matthew Things ASMR positive affirmations stress and anxiety video which means you're okay it truly does it means you're okay and it means everything will be okay really all i need you to do is just to listen to the words coming out of my mouth and the different sounds that i'm saying and allow yourself to fully take them in because you have to truly believe what i'm saying the and words have powerful meaning if you allow them to have powerful meaning so, everything is going to be okay. And when I say that, I want you to truly believe that, that everything is going to be okay. And that everything is okay. So let's take another deep breath in. Hold it. And out. And physically, the situation that you're in, not just mentally, but the physical situation. Allow yourself, if you're laying down, if you're sitting, no matter where you are, you're present. 
present in this moment right here. You are present, you're here, and you have control over everything that you do. You're in control. No matter what it is, you have the power and you have the control. And you are just right where you need to be in life, in every situation. You're just right where you need to be. And you may not think that, and you may not believe that right now, but I need you to believe me when I tell you everything is going according to plan, and you're in the right place right now, because you are, and not just in a physical sense, in a, in a mental sense, in a situational sense. This, these difficult situations that you're going through, you may think that this is not the ideal situation for me, Matthew, how, how is this not this, this, there's no way this is right for me right now. But the thing is, the difficult situations, the hard situations, it builds character. It builds everything who you're supposed to be in the future. So sometimes these stressful situations, these situations with anxiety, it's impossible almost to tell yourself, and you feel that way, that this is, there's no way this is right where I need to be. But this situation is meant to be because it will build who you will be in the future. And then you eventually will look back at this situation and you'll be happy that it happened. You'll be happy that when you didn't feel like you were supposed to be, that you really were supposed to be there all along. And that's the truth. So right now, in a mental sense, in a situational sense, you're just right where you need to be. And even in a physical sense, you're in bed, you're laying down, you're comfortable, you're listening to the words, everything that I'm saying, closing your eyes, maybe you're not, maybe you're looking at me and you're staring at the chest set in the back. You're just right where you need to be, so allow yourself to relax because you deserve that. You definitely deserve that. You are allowed to choose positive thoughts. Choose positive thoughts. It's very easy sometimes to think negatively or have a negative outlook, but you are in control. I'll tell that. You are in control, and you can choose the positive thoughts. Personally, I'm an optimist. That's just how I naturally am, and everybody, you have the opportunity to choose positive thoughts. Your brain is powerful, and you can allow yourself to choose those positive thoughts. Tell yourself. Sometimes you have to physically speak it out loud and tell yourself, I am choosing positive thoughts. And tell, tell yourself these positive things that you are okay, you're enough, and that you are going to make it through whatever you need to be. You are going to do everything you want to do. Allow yourself to choose the positive thoughts, and these positive thoughts will manifest themselves into reality. If you keep telling yourself these things in, in your brain, you will subconsciously start to do these actions and then change your life for the better or allow these things to come to you. It's the truth, and I'm telling you, this is the truth. Allow yourself to choose these positive thoughts. It will change you for the better. Allowing these positive thoughts in your life will only attract more positivity to you. It will. It really will. And let's take a second to inhale the good and exhale the bad. So all of the terribleness, we're not going to think about that right now. All I need you to do is to close your eyes and think with me right now. Inhale the good. Breathe in all of the good energy right now. Hold it in you. And now we're going to exhale all of the negativity. There you go. You just breathed it out of you. Now, I believe we should do it again. Let's inhale all the good. Hold it in. You want to keep that in. Now we're mustering it up. And now let's exhale all the bad negativity. Good job. Now we are already feeling better. We already have the good vibes, the good air in our system. And we just exhaled all of the negativity. And I think even itself, breathing is important. If you get yourself stressing, anxiety, worried, you can get yourself breathing quickly or fastly. But let's take a second and slow, slow, slow it down. It's okay to slow it down sometimes. Life is fast. Everything is fast. Why can't we be slow for a minute? I think it's perfectly fine to be slow. It's okay to be slow. So let's just take a
a second and be slow. Slow. Okay, let's take another deep breath in. <sighs> slow. And exhale. <sighs> Everyone has a different pace in life. Nothing, uh, no one is ever, you know, perfect at According to everyone else's plans, and don't let anybody tell you that you need to be going faster or at any sort of pace. Your pace is the perfect pace, and don't compare yourself to other people's paces because it's easy to look at somebody else and think that maybe they're ahead or this and that, but really, your pace is the only one that matters. Comparing yourself to other people, um, it does nothing for you and for you to be happy and positive. You have to realize that your pace is the perfect one and that your pace will lead you where you're supposed to be. So if you think you need to go faster, you don't have to. You really don't because your pace is the one that's destined to make you everything you need to be. And if you feel like you need to go slower, then you need to go slower too because rushing things is never way to never the way to go. Always allow yourself to give yourself the time you need because that is what's going to make you the happiest and the most successful. So don't stress yourself out on, on other people's bases and thinking that you're behind because you're not. Your base is the one that's meant for you. So stick on your base and stick on your plan. You create whatever you want. You truly create whatever you want. I want you to take a second and just to close your eyes again and to think of something that you want in your head. Just close your eyes and think of something that you want in your head. It could be anything. Maybe you want a promotion in your job. Maybe you just want to feel relaxed. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe you want a little bit of this Overwatch Farah character. Maybe you want that. It could be anything. Allow yourself to realize what you want and truly you create what you want. If you want happiness, if you want to relax, allow yourself that to realize that is what you want and start thinking about that because if you start realizing that you want to relax and you allow yourself to start to relax, you will then relax. It's simple as that. Maybe it's not as simple as that, but for me, I write my goals down on a board. I allow myself to visualize what I want. So if you want to relax, start visualizing yourself relaxing. Visualize yourself in that position where you are relaxed. Imagine how you would look when you're relaxed, and then you will be relaxed. And you're in charge of your calmness. You truly are in charge of your calmness. You can control your calmness. When it comes to being calm, you are in charge. And that goes for everything. You're in charge of your reality. You're in charge of you. You're in charge of how you feel, your emotions. You control all of that. And the only person that can control that is you. Not a single person, not, not any situation can control that. Not any person can control that. Only you can control how you feel, your emotions, and your calmness. Allow yourself to truly be in charge of your emotions and go ahead and check yourself and tell yourself, you know what, I am in control of this situation. I am in control of my calmness. And right now I am making the active decision to be calm. And you know you're choosing that because you're with me right now. We're sitting and we're talking about calmness. That's how you know you made the choice. So if you're if you're doubting, if you at any point you're doubting, if you thought you didn't choose calm, well look where you are right now. You made your way to this at this moment right now. So that's how you know you are choosing calm and allow yourself to continue to choose calmness. And you have the power to make the positive change in your life. You have the power no matter what positive change you want to make, you have the power to do it. And I'll tell you a little bit from personal example. When I was in grade school or middle school, I was always extremely skinny. And I would always get sometimes made fun of. Well, not, not all the time, but I would definitely get made fun of because I was too skinny. And you are, like I said, you're in control of reality. So you have to decide what you want to do with this information. You can either ignore it, keep going on with your life. You can you know, be, be stressed about it, be worried about it. Or you can be the positive change that you want to see. So for me, I 
decided, you know what, I want to improve myself, I want to see the positive change, I want to be the positive change in this world, I want to be the positive change to myself, so I went and I started eating healthy, and I started working out, and for me, I would, made me positive and was a positive change I wanted to see in myself. Now, for everyone, it's something different. Everyone's situation is different. Everyone could want a different positive thing. Everyone could be a different positive vibe. It could be anything. The positive change is up to you to determine. But I want you to be that positive change. I want you to look at yourself and really analyze and say, what positive change do I want to make in myself? And it could be as simple as waking up five minutes earlier. It could be as simple as taking a drink of water. It really can. These are all positive things. You have the power to be the positive change that you want in your life. Allow yourself to manifest that and allow yourself to be that positive change because you are and I believe in you and I know you can do it. It's okay to relax and take breaths. I think that it's easy to get caught up in wanting to improve all these things like I talked about. You want to be the positive change. Also realize it's okay to relax and it's okay to take breaks. I take breaks and relax all the time and it's important because it's essential and you have to tell yourself that these breaks and these relaxation sessions is essential for progress. Without being able to relax and without these breaks, you wouldn't be able to make the progress that you're seeing or the progress that you will make in the future. So if you're at the point right now where you're taking a break and you're relaxing, I just want to let you know, good job, and you're doing what you need to do. This break right now, this relaxation session right now, is what you need to make progress. Because if you go too hard, sometimes it just doesn't work out. You need yourself, you need to allow yourself to take the break, to relax, to fully take a deep breath in. Hold it and out. These things allow our mind to really recenter and refocus. Sometimes we'll get really caught up and our brain will be lose focus. It's like a camera and many objects are going in and out. And if they keep going in and out, the camera doesn't have time to stay focused on really what's important. So this break allows ourselves to refocus, recenter, and focus on the positive change that we need to be later on. So allow yourself to be okay with taking this break and relaxing. I also want to let you know you're doing your best. You are doing your best. If you don't even feel like you're doing your best, that's okay. Because I know that you are doing your best and I want you to believe that you are doing your best. Sometimes I even tell myself or I'll think about it and I'll be like, am I, am I at 100% right now? But you always are at your best and don't allow yourself to feel like you're not. Sometimes we go through up and down swings of uh, maybe more productivity than, than other times. But no matter what it is, you're doing your best. You're making the active choice to be the best person that you can be. And it always doesn't have to be in maybe a work or sort of productive sense. You can do your best and be the best person at there's many different aspects of life. You're always performing at your best in one of these different aspects. Maybe it's your your family, your friends. Maybe it's your, your work life. Maybe it's all these different sort of small pieces. Maybe it's just about you're, you're being the best person to yourself right now. Maybe that's what it is. And you are doing your best. All these things you're working towards, all these things that you're doing, you are doing them at your best capability. So don't allow yourself to feel any negativity because I know and you know that you're working hard and you are doing your best. I know that you are. And you will get through all these tough times. You will get through all the roughness, all these difficult situations. It's like the beach scene at the beginning of this whole, whole thing. It relates back to the beach scene. Sometimes there's really rough waves and they're crashing really hard. 
and maybe that's at a point where you feel like you're at right now. These rough waves, they are crashing in at the shore, and they just don't feel like they're ever going to stop. And at these points when you feel like they're never going to stop, eventually you have to keep walking down the beach and realize that it doesn't last, and you'll get through these tough times. It's like a thunderstorm outside. When you think of a thunderstorm, and maybe while you're going through the thunderstorm, it feels like it's going forever and it's never going to end. But you soon realize when you stop thinking about the thunderstorm and you start thinking about other things and doing other things, and then you take a look out your window and the thunderstorm is gone. And that's truly how it is. You will get through these tough times. The tough times are the thunderstorms. You'll get through them. And eventually you will see the sunlight and it's when you're not and, and it's when you're not focusing on the thunderstorm it's when you're not focusing on the tough times and you're and you're improving yourself or doing all these things or allowing yourself to relax and you're not thinking about the thunderstorm is when the thunderstorm passes because it never lasts forever the thunderstorm and the tough times they never last forever they come and go like the seasons from winter to spring summer to fall it always changes and it's a thing all of us go through and we will all get through these tough times you are relaxed at this moment right now you are relaxed i'm just telling you um i just i can look at you right now and see that you're relaxed so congratulations you are relaxed you are relaxed and you did enough for today you did enough for today all these things that you've done maybe the only thing you did was pick up this Kirkland water bottle and take a sip of it right now you did enough that was enough for today some days the the level meter of enough changes and varies don't feel like this enough level stays the same every day some days this is enough some days this is enough maybe that's you today this is enough for today some days maybe this is enough whatever you've done and if you put in what you put in it is enough for today today is over it is done with at any point you can decide that that is enough for today if you are at your limit you are at your limit and you did enough allow yourself to feel relaxed and feel happy that you've done enough if this was enough, it was enough for me, and it's enough for you, and I'm proud of you. You're in control again. Remind yourself and tell yourself that you're in control. You're in control of anything you want to do in life. If all the situations, how you act, how you respond, how you think, you're in control. No one else. You are in control. And you deserve to feel relaxed. I should tell you, you deserve to feel relaxed. I deserve to feel relaxed. You deserve to feel relaxed. Everyone deserves to feel relaxed, and it's okay to feel relaxed. What I want to do real quick is I want you to celebrate a win with me. This win could be anything uh, as you are maybe sitting down, laying down. I simply want you to celebrate a win with me. Now, a win could be anything. A win could be an A-plus on your desk in the summertime. Your win could be changing the light in the room. Your win could be anything that made you feel proud. Maybe your win was brushing your teeth in the morning or maybe waking up five minutes early. I want you to think of this win. Maybe you won Mario's Super Party, a Super Sluggers, any sort of video game. Maybe you won and you felt proud about that. I want you to tell me a win that you just recently experienced. Go ahead, think about it and visualize this win and visualize how this win made you feel. I'm listening. And if you don't want to say it, you can simply just think about the win. And I want to let you know that I'm proud of your win. Congratulations on your win. This applause is for you. Congratulations on your win. That win was impressive, and I'm proud of that win for you. I am, quite frankly, almost jealous of that win, but I'm so happy for you to experience that win. Hopefully, you can take that feeling of that win. Look, I'm smiling right now. I'm so, I'm so happy for you for that win. That win, take that feeling from that win and apply it and think of that win in your head when taking on new tasks or new abilities or new anything. Think of that feeling of that win, and when you accomplish something, maybe you made your bed, allow yourself to... Congratulate yourself.
yourself on that win because that win is something I'm proud of and a win is something that always should be celebrated and don't let anybody tell you any differently if you experience a win don't let, allow anyone else's opinions or feelings dictate how you feel about your win if that win was important to you it's important to you and I'm proud of you for that and you have all the tools to succeed everything in your itinerary everything all the skills in your belt everything inside of you you have all the tools to succeed and I truly believe in you no matter what anybody tells you maybe nobody believes in you but truly nobody you can't say that because even if you don't believe in yourself I still believe in you so if I believe in you you should believe in you that makes two people now that believe in you you have all the tools to succeed I truly believe you will succeed you will accomplish what you want to accomplish I truly believe it guys if you enjoyed this video please take a deep breath in hold it and out more times. Take a deep breath in. Hold it. And out. One last time. Take a deep breath in. Hold it. And out. Alright. Thank you guys. Hopefully you realize that everything will be okay. That you guys are enough and I believe in every single one of you. Have a great day. Have a great night. Achieve what you want to achieve. Don't stress. Don't worry. It's not worth it. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys.